What does it mean to be humble? And should you actually want to be it? This seems like a straightforward question, but I'm not sure it is. So I'm going to go ahead and dig into that in this episode. My name is Amber Furman, and this is the More Than Corporate Podcast. Welcome to the More Than Corporate Podcast. I'm Amber Furman, recovering perfectionist and serial accomplisher. If you're anything like I used to be, You've been living your life thinking that if you accomplish enough stuff, you'll finally find the success you've always wanted. But what if it's not about accomplishing more stuff? What if it's about accomplishing the right stuff? I believe you don't find success. You create it by intentionally designing the life you want and having the courage to get out of your comfort zone to live your design. I went from doing what I was supposed to do to doing what I love to do. And now I get to help others do the same. Keep listening as I chat with inspiring people who make it their mission to live their best life every day and learn how you too can live the life you've always wanted. I'm live streaming this to my Success Center group today. If you are in the group and have questions, feel free to ask them. If you are not in the group and you want to be and you want to have first access to these interviews, you can head to successdevelopmentsolutions.com and all of the information for the Facebook group is there under the contact me section. So what does it mean to be humble? I'm really excited to dig into this. And part of this comes from a conversation that I had with somebody recently. I am in Orlando. I just spoke at PodFest. We talked about being a good podcast guest and the personal development that you can get through the relationships that you build through podcasting. And in one of the conversations that I was having with somebody at this event, she said to me, how do you introduce yourself on podcasts? How do you tell people who you are and what you're doing? And how do you do that from a place of humility? And my answer was, I don't. And I really want to explain that for a minute because I think that humility is bullshit. And if you're listening to this and I just made your skin crawl and you want to shut me off, just bear with me for a minute. So the attorney in me wants to take just a minute. I've got some notes here. The attorney in me wants to take a minute and go back to definitions and what words mean. So if we're thinking about it, what is humility? I'm going to tell you what the Webster definition of humility is. And as soon as I do, I promise you that none of you will ever want to be it again. Humility is having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's importance. Why would that ever be anything that we want to be? Ever. Have you ever walked into a room, a sales meeting, a job interview? Have you ever walked into any type of environment where you were selling yourself? And by selling yourself, I don't mean for monetary gain per se. I'm talking about selling yourself for a podcast interview, selling an idea, selling a product or service, whatever it is, you're selling yourself for a purpose, your viewpoints. Would you ever want to walk into that and say, you know, I'm not actually that great. Do you ever want to walk into that and have a low importance of yourself? Like, why would you do that? That defeats the purpose. People are asking you to be on shows. They're asking you to come into a particular business meeting. You have gotten a conversation. Maybe you booked a sales call that you've been looking forward to. You got that conversation because they saw something valuable in you. And the first thing you're going to do is walk in and say, I'm not actually that great. Why? What's the purpose of that? Here's the biggest problem that people face, though, is that they think, If they're not humble, then they're arrogant. And nobody wants to be arrogant, right? But there's something where we have twisted what arrogance actually means. We think somebody who thinks highly of themselves is arrogant. Well, if somebody thinks highly of themselves and they've actually delivered, is that arrogance or is it just fact, right? So I, the attorney in me again, went and started looking at what is the true definition of arrogance. And if you look it up, arrogance is actually an exaggeration of one's own worth or importance, often in an overbearing manner. So nobody wants to be arrogant. You shouldn't be arrogant. 
But being arrogant isn't owning your accomplishments. It's exaggerating your accomplishments or overbearingly vomiting your accomplishments on people with no purpose or intention. A lot of times people wear arrogance as a mask for their insecurity. They know that they have a lot to work on on themselves. We all do. We are all human. We all have things to work on. But they allow those insecurities of the things that they have to work on to cause them to feel insecure. And then that arrogance comes in in this overbearing and exaggerative manner where now they start overcompensating for what they perceive as their insecurities. So what's the middle ground, right? How do we approach something non-arrogantly and also not fall into that definition of humility where we're saying, I'm not actually that great. And the answer to me is pride. But pride is one of those things where We've always seen it as a bad thing. Don't let pride get in the way, right? It's this thing where we have sometimes taken the fact that you're proud of something and we've turned it into a negative. How many times, and I want you to be honest with yourself. When I ask you this question, I want you to really sit with it for a minute and be honest. How many times have you been excited about something that you've accomplished and you've wanted to share that with someone? And then you've thought, I'm really excited. And then immediately that switch shifts in your head and says, I can't tell anybody about this because I don't want to be arrogant. When did sharing something that you have done well become arrogance? Here's what's really interesting. The intention that you put behind something is going to dictate energetically how that comes out. So when you say, I just accomplished this and I want to share this, if you are sharing it with the intention of benefiting others, of sharing from a place of love, of sharing it so that others can grow through your experiences, then that comes off as this super helpful person. If you are sharing it saying, you know, I don't know how people perceive me and I don't know whether or not they think I'm good enough. So I'm going to tell them all the things that I've done in my life. That comes off as the pride and the arrogance that we know so well. So here's what I would love to encourage you guys to do. I would love to encourage you to eliminate this humility goal from your life because nobody wants to be humble. And nobody wants to be humble in the way that the meaning is to diminish yourself. You should talk about all of the things that you've done great. And you should do that from a place of value. You should know that you accomplished these things and you are a badass. And when you go into a conversation, when you introduce yourself to people, when you enter into any type of a exchange and you start by saying, how can I diminish what I've accomplished so that I don't sound arrogant? How can I diminish what I've accomplished so I sound humble? That's where humility is bullshit. That's where it becomes bullshit. Here's the other really amazing part of this. And I say amazing in a way that you're going to say something and the way that you say it is going to be perceived by individuals who are listening and hearing and seeing what you're talking about through their own mask. So no matter what you say or how humble you try to be, when you are talking to somebody who is coming at you from a place of insecurity, they are always going to take what you say as arrogance because they have been told their entire life, we're not supposed to talk about ourselves. We're not supposed to tell people all the good things that we've done. So then you come in and you start saying, I've accomplished X, Y, and Z. And this is why you should connect with me. And this is why you should listen to what I have to say. And this is why you should buy from me. Or this is why you should have me on your show. Or whatever the goal is that you're trying to accomplish. And if you are talking to somebody who is coming from a place of insecurity, no matter what you say, they are going to see it as arrogance. 
So here's where you really get this amazing opportunity to have a conversation with somebody. Because if somebody says you shouldn't really talk like that because that's arrogant, your response then gets to become, why don't you feel like you can share what you've done? What's the purpose of shy, of hiding your light? What's the purpose of pretending that you're not as amazing as you are? And this is something that I've just recently learned. I spoke in Nashville at the Unleash You event um, just recently, and I I had a conversation with somebody after I got off stage and he said to me, he said, Amber, you need to approach every single interaction that you are in with the same energy that you just crushed that stage with. And I thought, well, what was different about that stage for me? What was different about the moment I walked on that stage? What did I believe? And the reality is I believe that I had permission to be myself and change lives. People have given me a platform. They've given me a stage. When you get off stage and now I would shrink and I would say, okay, I no longer have that permission. Nobody expects me to be that. What does that do to the value that I'm providing in the world? Right? What does it do to the value that you're providing when you're in a conversation and by when you are in a conversation with somebody, they have by purpose of that conversation given you a platform to talk about how you impact the world. And this becomes a conversation of both ways. You get to ask the difficult questions. You get to say the opinions that are on your mind. How many of us approach conversations from a place of this is what I want to know, but I don't know if it's okay to ask that question? Ask the question if it's something that you want to know. The other person will tell you whether they don't want to answer it or not. But we all go into these questions. We all go into these conversations saying, I can't ask this. I can't say this. I can't be this because I need to be humble. So I'm here to tell you that humility in that place is bullshit. Here's what I want you to do. Here's my challenge to you for the next week. My challenge to you for the next week is to start to remove the self-deprecating humor from your life. Start to remove that voice in your head that tells you that you cannot talk about how amazing the things that you've done are because you have to be humble. Now, here's my challenge. The, the other side of that challenge is to make sure that you believe it. Make sure that you're doing it with the intention of serving others rather than just the intention of hearing your own voice when you speak, because that's when you come off as arrogant. So we've talked about a few different things that I think all come together and all get meshed up. And that's humility and pride and arrogance and how it dictates how we show up in social situations. And I am giving you permission to approach the next social situation that you get into with the belief that humility is bullshit and the world deserves to know how fucking amazing you are. You all have the ability to design the life that you have always wanted. And you owe it to yourself to go out there and have the courage to live it. And one of the first steps in doing that is knowing that you have things that the world needs to hear and that the world gets to hear them because you're willing to say them because you no longer believe that you need to be humble. Have an amazing week, guys. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of the More Than Corporate Podcast. If anything that was said during this episode resonated with you or provided value in any way, it would mean the world to me if you would head over to iTunes and leave a rating and review for the More Than Corporate Podcast. Thank you so much for taking the time to do that. I'm really looking forward to connecting with you. If you'd also like to connect, I've created a Facebook group that is full of amazing people who also make it their mission to live their best life every single day. If that sounds like something that you're interested in the name of that facebook group is success center head over there request to join and i look forward to connecting with you soon